this is the third version of a stock buying and selling problem and uh, as usual uh, we will be given a list of prices so there will be a list which will denote the price on a given date so let's say we have uh, 5 0 3 or something like this so these are prices on a given day so in this version of the problem we are allowed to make at max two transactions not more than that we can also make just one transaction but maximum is two transaction and uh, a transaction is when we buy it on a given day and at some later point of time we sell it so here we bought it here we sold it and these two transactions should not overlap that is if we have one stock with us we have purchased it so until we sell it we are not allowed to buy again so this is to eliminate these cases so let's say you will buy here and you will sell maybe this is slightly longer higher than this then you will sell here and then again buy here sell here if you are allowed to make a overlapping transaction you can buy here and again buy here and sell here but that is not allowed so uh, how we can solve it so let's see so first of all i would recommend you to solve the easier version of this where we had uh, we were allowed to make just one transaction so that was pretty easy so in that case you would start from left uh, clearly on the first day the profit can be only zero and then we keep track of the minimum price we have found so far so when we reach a given index let's say i i we are here so we are keeping track of what was the minimum price we found to the left of it so p min and then we would have also so sold it maybe uh, if there was a possibility of selling it and we would have recorded the profit so far so maybe we purchased it and sold it for a small profit and the minimum price we have found so far in the left we are keeping track of that so let's say the price here is pi so we will see that if and this p min is less than pi that's why it's p min so if pi minus p min is more than the current profit we are holding that is buy at the, that same minimum price whatever we had found but sell today then if that yields a better profit then we updated the profit otherwise we did not update it or if we found a even lower price then we update the p min so this is how once we scan through it we found uh, what is the maximum profit that can be making one transaction so i would recommend you to solve that first so let's run through this so here it will be 3 3 so let's keep track of profit and p min so p min would be 3 profit would be 0 then uh, again p min minus price will be 0 still 3 then 5 minus p min is 2 so we can get a profit of 2 on third day if you purchase at p min that is 3 so one of these and p min remains 3 since we did not get a better price now p min is updated to 0 and in this case profit need not be updated so again 2 0 so this if you pause for a moment and see that the minimum price we have encountered so far is 0 and which is correct which is captured here and the maximum profit that we can make is 2 which is when you buy either at 3 this 3 or this 3 and sell at this price next uh, 3 p, p minus p min and p means remain 0 3 0 4 0 so finally this is our answer the maximum profit that we can make in one transaction and clearly you can see that if you purchase at the p min which is one of these zeros and sell at this price then you get a profit of 4 so this is how we solve for one transaction so this will take o of n time and o of one space so in this case we have we are allowed to make two transactions so what's the difference so if we have this price so let me write it again 3 3 5 0 0 3 1 4 so either we will make one transaction or two transaction or even zero transaction maybe if the price was always decreasing so we will not get any opportunity of making any transaction so ultimately answer will be zero 
so let's take the case where we are making two transactions so in fact one transaction also you can break into two parts let's say this is one transaction something like this so buy here sell here again buy here and sell here so it's equivalent to two, two transactions so we will look at the two transaction case so first transaction will finish either at this point so you purchase here sell here then we will look in this part what is the maximum profit that we can make with one transaction in this part so there are uh, if there are uh, n n days then we can divide it into either divide from this point this point this point uh, what i mean to say is that let's say this is the place where we complete first transaction t1 so what we need here and in the second part we make second transaction there is no overlap so they will be separate first transaction and second transaction so in order to find the profit of t1 we will need to find maximum uh, profit in one transaction in this part of the array that is from 0 to k let's say k is the index where we complete first transaction so max profit from 0 to k and then we also need max profit from k to n minus 1 so we need to keep track of two variables profit 1 and profit 2 so what we will do we will uh, just fill it in a dynamic programming fashion from bottom up so this profit 1 will denote this will be of the same length n and here the kth index will denote that what is the maximum profit in one transaction from 0 to k and we already know how to solve for one transaction case that's why i was recommending to solve it first so for 0 to 0 it will be 0 for 0 to 1 we will apply the same trick if we found a better profit then update it 0 to 2 it's 2 so it will be identical to this 3 3 4 so this is denoting maximum profit you can make from 0 to k in one transaction and this will denote maximum profit you can make so what was the second requirement maximum profit from k to n minus 1 so here we will again fill in the bottom up manner from right to left so from n minus 1 to n minus 1 there is 0 we buy here sell here from n minus 2 to n minus 1 if we found uh, a lower price then uh, so so whatever is the price so we are now traversing from right to left so let me write it again 3 3 5 0 0 3 1 4 so maximum profit from this last index to last index is 0 and p and also so p max so here we always need to buy first then only we can sell so when we were traversing from left to right we were keeping track of what is the minimum price we have found in the left of this so that we can purchase at that price and sell at current price and then compare if we get a better profit here we are coming from right to left and uh, here also we will purchase first then sell so we need to keep track of what is the maximum price we have seen so far so that if we purchase at current price and sell at that max price do we get a better profit or not so these are just identical uh, these are the same problem uh, if you think so uh, here we will keep track of p max and profit so p max is 4 profit is 0 here uh, p max minus p this is the current price at which we will purchase so it will be 3 which is more than this so profit is updated to 3 and p max remains this and now the profit will be 4 minus 3 is 1 so it's not updated and max is also not updated here also max is not updated but profit is updated 4 minus max minus current price so it's 4 then uh, again it will be 4 4 no, nothing to update 
here max is updated so here we will not make a purchase so it remains 4 now the max is 5 and the difference will be 5 minus 3 2 so profit is again not updated and not updated so this is the maximum profit that we can make from right to left so let's write these values here 4 4 all fours then 3 3 0 now we have profit both the profits and now what we need to do let's say we divide at we make the first transaction till this point so maximum profit from beginning till this point will be 2 in one transaction and maximum profit from this point till the end will be this in one transaction so sum will be 6 so we just need to do element wise sum and then pick the maximum so here the sum is 4 4 6 so 6 is the best we have got so far 6 6 6 6 4 so the answer would be 6 and uh, we got here that is 2 here and 4 here so you can purchase at 3 sell at 5 so that is 2 then purchase here at 0 and sell at 4 so again you get 4 so this is what it's denoting uh, you can even purchase here you see that here it's 3 that means uh, maximum profit was 3 that is 0 to 3 and after that there is again 3 1 to 4 so again so these are again 6 but due to multiple multiple possibilities so i hope you understood this uh, just uh, first try to solve it left to right then right to left and then we are looking at all the possibilities so how, how much time it will take creating this will take o of n time this vector creating this also take o of n time and finally doing element wise addition to keep track of maximum again o of n time so overall time is o of n we will do these in just one iteration you can do it separately to make it even simpler and space we need two vectors for this storing the values which are of the same order o of n so both the space and time are of order o of n so let's write the code for this so if there is just one or zero prices then there is no chance of making any profit so return zero else minimum price we have got so far would be the first price this is for the first profit vector profit 1 and profit 2 so 1 and 2 indices I will be use, using for left to right and right to left so 0 is the minimum price and P2 is the maximum that we are keeping track of since we are coming from right to left and the right one also always denotes the selling price and we want the selling price to be maximum so this is initialized to prices n minus 1 then there are two vectors let's call it profit 1 so we, we have we have initialized everything to 0 and we will start from 1 since at 0 we cannot make any profit and we have al already initialized with price on day 0 so profit 1 i so this profit 1 i denotes maximum profit from beginning till ith day or current day in one transaction both are for one transaction so earlier value of profit 1 and uh, profit i minus 1 sorry so profit from beginning till previous day or we sell at current day then prices i that is current price minus the minimum price to the left of it so if this is a better transaction then update that otherwise hold the previous profit 
and p1 is also updated minimum if we got a better price in fact these two will not be updated simultaneously if this is updated that means we got a lower price so definitely this will be some negative quantity because price i is less than p1 then only this is being updated so both of them will not be updated together and now we need to calculate the right index so when this is 1 uh, that will be n minus 2 the second from left second from right n minus 1 minus i so profit 2j denotes uh, maximum profit possible from day j till end j plus 1 exact same it's a mirror image of that p2 minus prices i prices j and p2 would be max of and again uh, both of them here both of them can be updated since if p2 is more than prices i and finally we have both these uh, vectors populated now we will just calculate the profit by adding them element wise so for int i equal to 0 to n and the answer is correct so let's submit and the solution is accepted and we are right here at around 98% so that's good now we will do it in java and python although if you have understood this i don't think there is any change in code required here we have not used any major data structure so with minimal changes we can get it running in both the languages and the java solution is also accepted and here all the solutions are concentrated in this small region finally we will do it in python 3 
and the python solution is also accepted